The RV that helped take Mitch Daniels to two terms as governor of Indiana is headed for the last roundup. Daniels took the vehicle and its roughly 20,000 Hoosier signatures to the RV Hall of Fame in Elkhart, where, where it will go on display. RTV6 reporter Norman Cox was at the State House to watch it roll away, and he joins us live there tonight. Norman. Well, RV1 was many things an office on wheels, an autograph magnet, and later on, a set for a campaign reality TV show, something Daniels was initially very skeptical about. Today, less than a month before the end of the governor's term, it's on its way to its new home. Daniels says the original idea behind the RV was to get closer to Hoosiers at their homes and gathering places, like on this 2004 campaign swing, to talk with them and find out in what direction they wanted him to steer Indiana. He says he learned a lot from those home visits and hopes future governors will do the same thing. I just want to thank everybody who was a part of this great adventure, which I hope will leave a little uh, imprint. I hope, honestly, that there'll be a little pressure on future candidates in this state to get out and see their employers. Daniels quickly discovered that Hoosiers love to sign his RV. By the end of the 2004 campaign, it was so full that many people just assumed it needed a good wash. When he started his re-election run in 2008, he had the vehicle completely repainted and started over collecting names. Now it's full again. Daniels estimates there are 20,000 names showing from every visible flat space and cranny. I don't know, 100 and some thousand miles and two campaigns later, uh, it's on its way now to its final home. But. Um, I believe that the reason I still get asked all the time about this vehicle is that it came to stand for certain things that were more important than me and, and more important than a political campaign. Daniels left on the final trip with his two campaign managers, RV1's original driver and several other key aides. He said he hoped it had another 100 miles in it. And late breaking news, apparently RV1 did have that 100 miles left in it. It has now arrived safely at the Hall of Fame in Elkhart. Todd? Good to know it still had a little left in it. Norman Cox reporting live at the Statehouse for us. Thanks, Norman.